Florida has six species of venomous snakes. Of these six, there's one that most of Florida doesn't see, and that's the canebrake rattlesnake. A lot of people refer to them as timber rattlesnakes, but Florida, Georgia, and the southeast, they're called canebrake rattlesnakes. These rattlesnakes are large and are very venomous, but these snakes only occur in North Florida. Let's take a look at this snake and learn a little bit about it. Detailed description of a canebrake rattlesnake. Most adult canebrake rattlesnakes are about 36 to 60 inches, 76 to 152 centimeters in total length, with a record length recorded of 74.5 inches, 189 centimeters. This is a large, heavy-bodied snake with a series of large black chevron-like cross bands down the pinkish, gray, or tan body. These chevrons are also referred to by locals as lightning bolts. There is a reddish-brown stripe running down the center of its back, which also may look orangish. The tail is usually uniform black. The tail ends in a rattle, which is often held above the ground. The dorsal scales of the body are keeled. Each scale has a prominent raised edge. The large and thick head is distinct from the body and sometimes has a dark diagonal line through the eye or just behind the eye. The pupil is vertical, elliptical cat-like, and there is a deep, facial pit organ located between the nostril and the eye. This is a heat sensing pit to sense warm blooded prey. There are no large scales on the top of the head except for the scales over the eyes. The coloration of juveniles is the same as described for adults, but it may be brighter with more contrast. The tail tip of the newborn ends in a button, which is the first segment of the future rattle. Range in Florida. Canebrake rattlesnakes have a limited range in Florida and are found in only 12 counties in northern Florida. The range may extend to other nearby areas, but there are no confirmed records from other Florida counties. Diet and feeding behavior. Canebrake rattlesnakes feed primarily on mammals and occasionally birds. However, lizards, snakes, amphibians, insects, and carrion are also occasionally consumed. These snakes may actively pursue prey by following their scent trails. But more typically, these snakes sit and wait in ambush for prey at the base of trees or next to fallen logs. Juveniles may use their tails as lures to attract small prey, but this has not yet been confirmed. Reproduction. In Florida, females typically give birth to around 6 to 10 live young between August and October. Females remain with the young for about one week until their first shed, after which time they all disperse. Competing males engage in combat dances when trailing females during the breeding season. Habitat. Canebrake rattlesnakes in Florida prefer damp bottomlands, river valleys, hardwood hammocks, pine flatwoods, swamps, fields, and cane thickets. This species is occasionally found in suburban neighborhoods where development encroaches into favorable habitats. Defensive behavior. This is generally a mild-tempered rattlesnake that will usually attempt to escape if disturbed. Some cane brakes lie quietly coiled when first discovered. However, if provoked, they may remain coiled and shake their tails, producing a loud, buzzing rattle sound. Nonetheless, these snakes are not aggressive, and striking is only used in a defensive manner 
as a last resort. Comparison with other species. Eastern diamondback rattlesnake has a row of large dark diamonds with brown centers and cream borders down its back. The large and thick head is distinct from the neck and has a light bordered dark stripe running diagonally through each eye. This is the only other rattlesnake with which the timber rattlesnake might be confused in Florida. Assessment of risk to people and pets. The canebrake rattlesnake is highly venomous. It's a large and impressive snake and bites can be very dangerous to people and pets. The victim should seek immediate medical care from a physician or hospital experienced in treating snake bites. Timber rattlesnakes are not aggressive and avoid direct contact with people and pets. Most bites occur when the snakes are intentionally molested or accidentally stepped on. This is a snake that should be simply left alone and not bothered. Comments. No subspecies are currently recognized. Contrary to folklore, Canebrake rattlesnake does not need to rattle before striking. It can lay silently and motionless and often strike without the usual nervous buzz from its rattle. In fact, canebrake rattlesnakes that rattle are more likely to be heard, seen, and killed than those individuals that remain silent. The canebrake rattlesnake is extremely beneficial to people because it preys on many species that are considered pests. Nonetheless, many are unfortunately killed by people every year. This dis indiscriminate killing, combined with widespread loss of rattlesnake habitat to agricultural development, urban sprawl, and the commercial hunting for rattlesnake skins has caused a severe decline in most timber rattlesnake populations. The canebrake rattlesnake in Florida is really an impressive snake. When encountered, the large snake of this nature is just something to behold. Not often seen in Florida since it only occurs in northern Florida, especially in areas that are not very populated. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.